Hi, my name is Miguel from avoiderrors.net. I recently installed Windows 8 and it's not detecting any additional internal hard drive installed on my computer. Before we do anything here, I'm going to bring back the uh, desktop icons so I can make it easy to navigate, especially the control panel. Computer, users file, network, apply. Now I'm going to close here and then go to computer and show you what I mean. See here, it only detects the uh, operating system hard drive, no additional internal hard drive. Now I have my motherboard uh, driver disk, but before I do anything here, I want to go to disk management to see if my disk is detected in the uh, disk management. So right click computer, disk management here, and no, it's not detected. Okay, if it were detected, I just have to right click and change the, the drive letter. But since it's not detected, I'm going to go to device manager. Right click computer, properties, device manager here and maybe it's missing some drivers and it's not. Now that we're here I'm gonna go ahead and right click on storage controllers right click scan for hardware changes maybe that will help nope it did not I'm gonna right click disk drives and see if that helps scan for hardware changes nope that didn't help either so now, if I go to computer here and try to run the um, motherboard disk, it tells me that it's not supported by Windows 8. So now we have a medium problem here. What we need to do is download the latest drivers related to the hard drive from the website from the manufacturing of the motherboard if you don't have the CD. Now if you do have the CD just right click and then click on open browse for the drivers folder and look for anything related to the hard drive in this case RAID. Now here I have three different folders since we already ins just installed Windows 8 you don't have to be afraid of installing any setup because since it's a new installation you can always reinstall it if something goes wrong now I do not recommend this if you already have personal files and folders or important information on your drive I'm sorry on your Windows 8 now for example here I go to Windows 7 double click the setup and all it tells me is that it's probably not compatible or the adapter was not found as you can see but you might get lucky in this case remember my motherboard is not actually created for Windows 8 but it might work if I go to this one here install and look for the setup it will probably work there we are it's working fine so you shouldn't be afraid of installing any drivers especially if you recently installed the operating system because you can always reinstall it now I'm gonna click on next here next here yes next and you'll see if you pause this video all the DLL or the drivers that is installing everything is related to RAID drivers here it is just don't be afraid of installing any drivers once you have immediately installed Windows 8 because you can always reinstall it. Click next here. No. The reason why I'm clicking on no is because I'm recording this. Finish. I'm going to go ahead and restart and see if my drive is actually found. Now I have restarted. Double click on computer and yes. 
it has detected my additional external hard drive. Now let's say it wouldn't be detected. Just right click computer, manage, go to disk management and see if your drive is found. If it is, all you need to do is just right click and then click on change drive letter. Select it, change and select a different drive letter for your hard drive. In this case I'm not going to click OK but also your drive might be unallocated. If that is the case just right click, create a new simple volume and then click on next, 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 finish to the wizard unless you want to change the volume label name. Now here uh, you just saw a few tips on how to fix the uh, additional hard drive not being detected after you installed Windows 8. If you have any questions, comments, please feel free to post them in the comment section below. Thank you.